Hi everyone, I'm happy to announce we've reached 20,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can continue to grow the channel at this rate. If you want to help support this channel, come buy a book on the Amazon or the Shingu at BelowWater.com. Today I want to show you monkeys feeding fish and buying a book will allow us to train them to do water changes and to produce more content like this. The trees in the Amazon and Pantanal have some unique strategies to get their seeds spread and should be no surprise that fish also play a role. When the rainy season starts, the banks of rivers flood the surrounding forest and many trees have fruits available at this time. Fish then eat the fruit and disperse the seeds in new areas. Today's video is not from the Amazon, but from the Pantanal, the gigantic wetland region that borders Brazil, Bolivia and Paraguay. The spring of this river forms in the foothills of the Serra de Boroquena region and the first few kilometers of this river are very clear water. Much of this clear sector of the river is very narrow, so the trees on the banks often reach right across the water, making a canopy that allows some sunlight to penetrate the water, but also providing plenty of habitat for birds and other animals, including many mammals. This spring is home to tapir, giant otter, capybara, and monkeys living along its banks. It's the capuchin monkeys I want to show you today, because they show some quite funny behavior interacting with the fish. The dominant fish here are Pieraputanga, or Brucon hillary. There are lots of other fish in the river, including the Dorado, Salminos brasiliensis, Serpe tetra, Farloella, Piranhas, Pacus, and many others. If you want to see a bit more of the diversity in this place, check out the Dorado video we have linked in the description, and also check out our Amazon sort plants in nature video. The Pieraputanga live in huge groups here, often in schools that are several hundred individuals, all around 16 inches or 45 centimeters. There are a few smaller fish, at least not when I visited this place. I assume that after these schools spawn in the headwaters, the fry migrate down and occupy a different zone in the main river farther downstream. Special thanks to Leandro Sosa for providing this clip of me photographing the brew pump. That can get within arm's length as they are so focused on their lunch and the activity in the branches overhead that they eventually ignore my movements. At times, this interaction looks almost intentional, like the monkeys are staring down at the water below to see which of the brycon is first to the food. Maybe the monkeys actually like this situation and enjoy feeding the fish as much as I do. This behavior is not a rare observation. I've seen this behavior on every visit here, and in more than one location, including in the Amazon. Capuchin monkeys are not the only animals feeding the fish. Likely other monkey and marmoset species, and even sloths help to feed the fish. Besides mammals, many birds feed on the fruits, including toucans, macaws, and many others. At this time of the year, the fruit is plentiful, and feeding on the branches overhanging the water also makes it easier to track predators approaching from below. The schools of fish are spread throughout the river, but they congregate in the wider bends where the water flow slows down. The capuchin can jump from one side of the river to the other, and if they find a tree with many fruits, they will spend a lot of time feeding, often returning as more fruit ripens at one feeding station over several days. The siconia, or figs, of the ficus trees often hang very low over the surface, even low enough for fish to jump and directly grab the low-hanging fruit but the fish will follow the feeding monkeys with the whole school traveling along the riverbank and congregate by the hundreds once a band of monkeys has sat down to feast in the branches above. Trees such as Ficus gomelera rely on the fish to eat their figs for germination of their seeds. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with friends. This channel has tons of content showing fish in their natural habitat and some of the newest species to enter the hobby. Check out some of the sample videos mentioned in the description. Neither the monkeys nor the fish are not much bothered by the humans, at least not by humans in the water, often jumping down very close to my head to feed on the low-hanging fruit. The monkeys are messy feeders, often taking a single bite before dropping the leftover fruit into the river below, where hundreds of brycon have jockeyed for position to be the first to grab the gifts from above. This spring remains clear even in the rainy season, but heavy rains wash silt into the main river, clouding the water and bringing the visibility to zero. This flood pulse carries seeds and fruit downstream, as do fish migrating to different sectors of the river. But fish also swim far into the now flooded forest, well beyond the current, dispersing seeds far from the riverbanks deep in the forest. 
This is one of the most fun interactions to observe in nature. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and share the links in the description. See you next time.